arbitrary generation, so I was just wondering if you had any stories about being on that set with these people who've been working with, and, and this kind of question that we had earlier is people have been working together for years and they know each other and you're like, um, did you get any stories from that? Well, you know, I mean, when I was a boy, uh, I was a fan of the original series, you know, and my character was supposed to have been, had, had idolized uh, Kirk and Scotty and, and, you know, Chekhov and the gang when he was just starting out at the Academy, right? So they were my heroes when I was 10 years old, so that was, that was easy, you know. <laughs> And I didn't think much about it. I got the audition for that part and the uh, Star Trek movie, and the, I had a fax machine, and the thing came over the fax. And I thought it was going to be like some broccoli-headed guy, you know, some <laughs> guy with stuff sticking out of his head and skin and everything. And I said, who? And they said, Harriman. And I was like, you know, I look at myself every morning in the mirror, and I don't say, there's a starship commander. <laughs> and that's not how I strike myself. But anyway, so I thought, okay, I'll do it. And then. Um, when I got on that set and I saw how big that captain's chair is, <laughs> that's when I got a little bit shaky, like, I'm on It's a big chair, and I was like, I have to at least attempt to pull that up. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it all worked out, but, um, but I think it depends on the set, too. I mean, I think there's enough of us who have been guest stars who then have gone on to be regulars and we know how traumatic that can be. It just depends on the group of people. So every now and then you run into a group so it's just, it makes you feel right now, you know. And Jimmy Doohan was especially, I mean, you know, he was like your uncle. You know? He was like the uncle you always wanted to have, you know. So it was a nice experience.